Hello guys, welcome to my channel, the mini soft tech. Today we are going to see how to sync the TempDB files in production and what are the steps there we need to take care. Okay. Okay, so here are these uh, steps actually. So basically we are going to see how to sync tempdb without restarting the sql service so that we will be seeing using the gui as well and the command prompt as well okay so before syncing the tempdb in production we need to check if there are any open transactions are running so we can use the command dbcc open tran just to check if there are any open transactions are there Okay, so you can see that here there are not any open transactions, but in production there might be the open transactions. So you can check that what you can found the SPID and by the SPID you can get the uh, what is the query it is running and based on that if you require you can kill the session and then you can shrink the time db file. Okay, so let's see for that we have to go to the system databases and we have to check check the temp db so before syncing we can see what is the data files and how many data files are there okay so i'm just going to the properties okay so you can see that the uh, size is around 92 gb okay and free space is around 81 gb 869 so the this uh, 92106 MB is the combination of data files and log files. Okay. So here you can see that there are around 10 GB allocated to each data files using the log and data files, and there are around 8 data files. Okay. And the files are located in F drive. Okay. So we can go to the task shrink, shrink files. Okay. So here it is recommended that you know each data file should be of equal size as we saw it was having the equal size but if we want to shrink a particular data file so we can select from here okay and say for example if you want to shrink the temp day, temp day only not all the data files then you can select here okay and here you can see that currently allocated space is around 10 gb 234 and uh, free space is around 99 percent that is 102 10 to 31 and here is 10 to 34 means and here you can see that before shrinking we have to re reorganize the pages okay so here you can see this showing minimum is 3 mb it means that it requires minimum 3 mb so leaving the 3 mb we can shrink all the data files but mind it whenever you are going to shrink it when the uh, maintenance job runs like index or updated states so it will grow again so it is not best practice to shrink the data uh, temp db files all the time and that is the reason we have to allocate the 80 percent space to the data files and in equal size okay and we have to cap it with 80 percent okay so since here we are just going to see how to shrink it in the production if there is uh, not any spaces left and we have to shrink it or if you want to reclaim the space then we can use this method so i'm just going to shrink these data files using the gui so you can see that here it is showing 3 mb so even if i keep the 21024 that is around 1 gb then it will also shrink that okay so that is one option another one is if you don't know how to create the script you can go here and create the script script to new query okay so i'm not just going to create it i'm just going to shrink and we'll see okay so again i'm going to refresh and see if it has been shrink so i'm just going to the data files See, it has been sent to 1024 same way if you want to uh, shrink for all the data files at the same time so i can go and copy paste at the same time and change it for all the data files and log files at a time 
and I can script it out. So if you are not aware how to script it out, we can just click the command here and go to the new window. Yeah, so the new window is created. Okay, and you can run in parallel. I mean to say that if you run it, it will go one by one and you can see the status. But if you are on the GUI, unless until complete data files are shrink, it will not shrink it. Okay. So yeah, so I'm just going to execute it. Yeah, and you can see that it is, you know, the pages are released. Okay. So since I have already allocated to 1024, so it is showing that minimum size required is 1024 and use space is around maximum 8 MB and estimated space is set at MB. So here it is actually it is comes as a MB. Okay. So that we have to keep in mind. Another option is since nothing is running and it is very simple to use it. So we may face a, situ a situation like, you know, when we are trying to shrink the data files and it is not shrinking. So we have the command. Okay. That we can use here. Okay, so first of all, we have to use the uh, use database as TemDB. Then we have to drop the clean buffers. Okay, so whatever the clean buffers are there, that will be free. Again, we have this free system cache, all and free session cache. Also, we can add the free pro cache. Okay. But that is not recommended. It may impact the production because every time when the queries are running, the queries will be uh, recompiled. The store processes will be recompiled. So it will take time. So it gives you 100% guarantee that 99% of the time your data files will be shrink. So before running all this, we have to run the checkpoint. Okay. Okay, so first you have to use the term DB, then we have to run the checkpoint. So checkpoint is basically if there are in data files or pages that are running and if it has, uh, uh, you know, dirty pages or something, then the checkpoint will run and it will clean the buffers. Okay, so you can run the DBCC clean buffers and once this is completed, okay, so you can re-attempt to, you know, resize the term DB and most of the time, even I have used multiple times in production and I have seen that the TemDB size has been shrunk. Okay, so here also you can see, I'm just going here. Okay, since there it is in uh, MB, so almost around 102 for me is 1 GB. So I'm just going to use a 10 MB. Okay, so let's make it 10 MB. Okay. Okay. So since in my case nothing is running, so it has run faster. So let's validate if it has been shrunk to 8 MB. Yep. Yeah. So only all the data files are missing. Only log file is not shrunk. Okay. But yes, all the data files are missing here. Okay. This also we can try to shrink to 10 MB. Okay, so I think there are some transactions that we have run again. So once we close these sessions and run the checkpoint, that will again we shrink it. Okay, so I'm just running it. I'm closing this session. And the last one is 10 MB, so we'll shrink this much. Okay. Okay guys, so here the TemDB has occupied around 648 MB, but if you can see, all these data files has been shrunk. Okay, so that is how we can do in the production. I hope this helps you. Okay, and uh, great learning. Subscribe to my channel for forthcoming sessions. Thank you.